Hello everyone, my name is Misha. Today I just kind of wanted to do a very simple video. I'm going to show you a couple different vendors. One, it's not small, it's um, Josh's Frog. I'm going to show you another vendor called Find Us in the Forest and that it's a you know vendor from Etsy. So let's get started. So when he came to them, I ordered the plants, which was seven plants in total, back in June 11th. And they arrived today, June 17th. So it took six days in total from the day I ordered to the day they arrived. So let me go ahead and open it. And I remember the plants that I purchased, but let's kind of go and see what we have and how they arrive. I have purchased from them before. This is going to be my third order with them and I have been quite happy, hence the reason why I keep ordering from them. And I honestly have not heard anything negative so far, so I'm, I'm quite happy. And I'm gonna put this one from Find Us in the Forest that um, I'm going to open next. I'm going to put it right here. So I have the receipt and this is how they look inside, tons of paper. And when they send you the plans, they let you know who ended up choosing the plans for you. Her name was Rachel. It's hard. I know it's a little hard to see. They also gave you a, you know, warning regarding the plants because what they do is they don't use insecticides they use beneficial insects so they kind of want to let you know that if you see any particular bugs in the plants it's because they were making sure that us and our animals are quite okay right now let's just kind of get into the plants i am quite excited so let's see this is a lot of paper And this is how the plants look. With um, with them, the plants are usually in a two inch container. I think I'm supposed to have a couple on a four inch. So let me go ahead and kind of place them here. I'm definitely missing two plants because the box is extremely empty and I definitely they're not in the paper oh this is devastating let's see if it says something here so I will definitely be giving them a call and see what happened they usually call if there's a discrepancy it happened in my last purchase. I was trying to get a confetti anthurium and they did not have it, but here are five of them. Let's see. Okay, so let's see what they're missing. Put those here. And I'm going to give them a call tomorrow. Right now it's a little late to be doing it. But we'll see. Oh. So this one did not do well. Gosh, this is one of the uh, peperomias. This is how it looks. It's, um, there's a lot of dead, um, foliage in there and actually yeah this is a peperomia string of turtles it just is falling apart oh my gosh a lot of the foliage it remains in the plastic uh, 
I must admit, I I am quite disappointed. I know the plants are not, you know, they're always going to have some sort of damage in transit, but this is, oh my gosh, this is, this is not, this, um, it's, it's just kind of falling apart, and... Oh my gosh, poor thing. I'm gonna, they're so small. I'm gonna try to water propagate. This is all, um, this, 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 this does not look good. A lot of the foliage is just falling. I know that there's two trans just hanging here. Um, I'm not quite sure what to do about this. I'm gonna give them a call and just kind of see what they say there's a, a couple more strands that are um, falling off the plant is soaked um, I don't know what to think I'm a little disappointed to be honest I was not expecting for the plant to be this this sad and damaged um, there's another strand here that is just is just hooked to a leaf so this is you know this is a mess that did not do well um, it's it's just and I'm trying to be as careful as I can and this one too is um, Okay, so I'm going to try to propagate those, I'm going to try to give them a call because a pretty much half of the plant is just right here and it was over watered and leaves everywhere and I know that they're supposed to have some um, damage from the travels but this is just a little too much. This is, this is a little too much. So I'm going to place this one here. This one's definitely going to need a lot of TLC and I'm going to grab all these strands that were just hanging on the plant. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's a lot. You usually see um, one or two and then all those leaves. Like this string of turtles, if it makes it, would be a miracle and um, I'm quite disappointed to be honest because I have been wanting there's more leaves here there are leaves all over the place but I, I was wanting the string of turtles for a very long time but instead here I am you know getting just bits and pieces from the poor plant so yeah, I will be um, contacting them tomorrow and see what they um, advise. But let's go with the second one. So this has not, this is not um, going on a good note right now. Okay, so the second one is an alocasia. Dwarf Amazonica. So this one, this one does look better, um, much better, I should say. It is in a two-inch pot. It has a little baby leaf there. The bigger leaf, it's just gorgeous. But this one makes me feel better. There is some damage on the leaf, but that is to be expected, and um, that's how they're selling it as, Alocasia Dwarf Amazonica. Okay, so let's go on to the next one. Okay, so this is a Peperonia Carperata Silver. 
It's actually bloom. If you see those um, little things that look like ragtails, those are actually the flowers. And it is um, in pretty good shape, actually. Um, so I'm happy about this. I can't smell anything with the flower. I heard that it wasn't good smelling flower. Maybe I'm just lucky that I do have allergies. Uh, but let's see, let's just remove the tape and see what we have working with. And they're all quite wet. Um, maybe they knew that they were gonna be a little while before they came over to be delivered and they wanted to make sure yeah it's heavily moist and it has another little tiny flower I'm not sure if you see it but it's like right there this is actually quite quite healthy and the ripples on these leaves are just oh my gosh they're breathtaking they're beautiful I recently began to purchase peperomias and I have been so happy as to how hardy and how good these plants do um, but this is gorgeous let me actually remove the tape from the previous ones and there's actually barely any soil on any of the last two uh, packages so I'm happy about that And I'm probably going to place all these new ones in my greenhouse so that they can get some TLC from the travel. This one's heavily moist too. And then the string of turtles. I am so afraid to touch it because the leaves are just, they just keep falling off. It's really wet. There's an oh no, there's another um, little string dangling around. I have to be so careful with this one. I I was not expecting this, and there's yeah, there's so many just hanging. There's so many just sadly rotten on the tape. There's so many that are rotten in the soil as well. Um, I don't know if they send me a rescue. I'm not sure what happened here, but um, this this is and it's so wet. Like my fingers just got soaked. Unsurprised water is just not dripping down. It's so so wet. Are you able to see it? But anyway. I will look at the last two. So this one um this one is a Dracena Dragon Tree. That's the way they're selling it to me. This one's packaged a little different. It is on a four inch pot and it has paper holding down the soil. So it seems like, I'm not sure if you're able to see it aside from the tape. So maybe they just um, were wanting to make sure that the soil didn't go all over the place. Okay, so let me just remove this and see what we have working with. It does look healthy aside from one of the leaves, well a couple of the leaves. They do look like um, they have some damage. You able to see right there. But it's not a big deal to me. Take extra paper. 
This one's also very, very wet. Um, I usually love letting plants acclimate to my new environment, but these plants are so wet and I'm not sure if this is the way they always care for them, but I'm going to have to, for my own peace of mind, um, repot all of them. I'm going to have to because the soil is quite wet. Um, there is a new leaf coming in right there in the middle. I'm not sure if you're able to see it. Um, yeah, it's right here to the right. It's hard to see, um, but yeah, and there's another, um, and there's some damage underneath, but overall it looks like a beautiful plant. The foliage, I love it because it's just so beautiful um, with this bluish white stripe in the middle, and they feel like a semi-succulent leaf, which I love, so I, so far I'm happy with this one. But let's just see. Let's go ahead and go with the last one. Okay. So we have the same plant, um, but the, the stripe is not in the middle, but at the end. may have to spray this one this one seems like it had grips um, I'm not sure if they're there now I'm not sure if you're able to see um, the damage from it uh, it's hard to see but I uh, I definitely do not want any of that in my home so honestly, I'm a little thrown off um, with the way that I received the package. Um, oh, so wet. It's so wet still, you can see. It's just, um, it's just extremely soaked. And um, this one's another four inch pot. Um, I must admit that um, if I would have, if this would have been my first um, purchase, I probably, I, I don't know if I would order again. I tend to give, um, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of trying to make sure that the, I'm not um, having to battle something. Uh, but okay, but this is the way that it looks. I think it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. I don't have any um, Dracaenas and I just kind of wanted to add some to my collection. These are the plants from Josh's Frogs and I will do a close up at the end of the video and the saddest one. Everything else I think it's great but this is the pretty sad one, the string of turtles that um, barely has any turtles <laughs> anyway so I'm gonna go ahead and go to the next unboxing um, this is with find us in the forest it's a vendor from Etsy when it came to this particular vendor what I liked about it is that it had many 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 um, five-star reviews they were mostly five-star reviews um, when I purchased this plant, um, I order, it's two plants in it, and I order them on the 14th of June, and today's Wednesday, the 17th, and I it arrived. So pretty much in three days from purchase, I had my plants. So to me, that's impressive. And um, yeah, so let's see what... Let's see how they traveled. But so far, I think that's awesome because I, when I ordered online, it's really difficult for me to wait around for um, plants, especially when you fall in love with them. Aww. 
So when you open, this is what I see. I think it's so far, I'm really, really, really impressed with this vendor. It's it's just so amazing. And then it has a big letter that says, find us in the forest. Let's see what it says. I'm kind of curious. Um, it's probably the receipt, I'm assuming. It's pretty awesome. Oh. So it has, aw. It has a thank you card with their information and all their um, media. It's, I know it's hard to see. They have the Etsy store, Instagram, and their Facebook page. Then, it has everything that has to do with the plant regarding care, the lighting needs, the water and soil needs, the temperature and humidity. Wow, and the little extras, the, uh, you know, a guarantee. And they have the same thing for both plants. It's extremely detailed. But I don't want to show you a close-up because then you'll know which plants I have ordered. And, um, wow, I am quite impressed with this um, vendor. And they are, it's stating when I purchased that it could be a four or six inch um, pot. Okay, I'm not sure which which one which side it's up and which one is down. So let me just kind of bring them like this. It's quite a big package, and it's impossible for it to wiggle around. So I'm in love with the fact that they did um, have a box that is perfect for the size of the plant. And this too, I don't have in my collection either. Oh my gosh. So first it was the paper unwrapping it. And then they have it on, on this. On this, um, I don't even know how to call it. Right now I can't even think straight. I'm just so excited right now. Um, oh my gosh. So the very first one is... Oh wait, it's taped. Well, let me open it so you can see. It's a Talithia Freddy. Look at this. I am so impressed. And not only that, he taped it to this um, backing. Um, it looks like... <laughs> looks like dog um, cat scratching um, I just I am so impressed and it's taped there so it doesn't move oh my gosh I'm in love with this bender I am so in love so far this is amazing and then it's highly wrapped it has a little sticker with their business logo I just I am in love and look at this foliage. I have a, a you know, my collection of Calithias, you know, the prayer plant family. I have several because they do so well in my home. So let me get my handy dandy knife to help me. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. And it's growing new leaves and it's so nice and beautiful. Only a couple leaves have a little browning on the leaves, but that more than likely because the majority doesn't have it was due to the, you know, being mailed or, you know, just a little stress. I, I am so happy right now. So let's just go ahead and see how the soil looks. This is well wrapped. This is well, well wrapped. And this is, I think it's a four inch pot, yes. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. I'm gonna go back and see if he has any other Calithias. 
because I am impressed. So, this is amazing. Oh my gosh. Please remember this vendor's name, <laughs> which is Find Us in the Forest. So, just $16.95 for this beauty. And it has cotton around the soil. humid which is perfect for a calithia because they love being moist um, and they do not like being wet but look at this and there's so many um, new leaves and new growth that it's impossible to see but oh my gosh you're gonna be so happy here oh this is gorgeous this is just and I'm impressed it's oh it was worth every penny okay so I'm sure you have seen how amazing this was so let's go get, go ahead and check on the next one Again, the same way with the carton. My cats are gonna love this. And I love recycling everything that I can. I'm all about recycling. <laughs> oh. Okay, so this this is again I don't have this particular plant. Let me go ahead and remove it, but it's a Scandapsis pictus um, exotica and it's um, taped to, to it so let me make sure that I remove it wow I pay for this um, 4 inch pot $19.95 shipping was free <gasps> one two Oh wow, so it has two new leaves, three coming in. Look at that. Look at that. How gorgeous is that? They do love um, bright indirect light. Oh no, that particular leaf um, just broke. But they do beautiful and bright indirect light. And they could do lower lights, but they could lose their... Um, their leaf markings. I have a Skindapsis Pictus Silver Ant. Okay, so I'm pretty sad because this particular leaf, the biggest leaf of the plant, ended up um, falling off. I'm sure that I don't know if I did it or, or not, but okay, so it just it came off, and I thought it was probably the way I handled it. The other leaves, um, they look amazing. This is super well packed. And it must have been when I did it, when I um, just took it out, because this was not moving in the packaging. <laughs> he did, um, he, she, they did an amazing job. And I'm sorry I'm not like talking much. I'm just so um, impressed with this plant. <laughs> and that's the one thing that I love about the Scandapsis pictus. They do well in my home as well. And of course that one has the little cotton as well. Um, but look at this. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous plant. And then the Calithia freddy. They... Um, they're in the tropical forest floors, so it's perfect in like shady areas or in ambient light indoors, which is, you know, what I'm going to give it. But this Candapsis Pictus Exotica, this is something that I kept looking and everyone was selling it at a very, very high price. And I am the type of person that... I really don't want to wait until they go like on sale or whatever so I kept looking and 
by the way this is the way their little logo is and I'll do a close up of it um, so I paid in total for these two plants $36.90 and they're in a four inch pot they were well taken care of they were in my hands three days after purchase and I think it was worth every penny I am very very impressed I love supporting um, small businesses I think that everyone should um, you know when you support a small business you support someone that is definitely um, taking their time on and, and caring for you know what you're looking for and they're you know obviously <laughs> They obviously, they obviously care for customer service. Look at the way this was packaged. This was amazing. And that's why I think I'm going to keep um, looking for vendors at Etsy that make me happy. There's nothing better than just kind of, um, you know, supporting locals, supporting small businesses. I'm all for it. And um, I really hope that you go and check this particular vendor out because it's well worth it if you want a healthy plant well packaged you know with showing you so many little details um, you know kind of letting you know you know you're gonna receive something beautiful that you're gonna love I don't know you know what else to say but when he came to, not only did he send me, of course, the receipt, but he sends me the plant care for each individual plant. And to me, that is amazing. Amazing. So I, I'm definitely going to write a review for this um, vendor. And I am really glad that I came across, you know, this particular vendor called find us in the forest and he you know I will be the next five star review for sure um, when it comes to um, Josh Josh's frogs I feel like you can find a lot of um, affordable items I feel like you can find a lot of um, you know a good selection because what they focus on is reptiles and all these different things so having a plant selection that you know you can just go to a big box store and get it's it's impressive and I like it and out of the you know five plants that arrived um, I'm really happy with um, you know let's be honest four of them <laughs> and um, the fifth one it's um, it's impossible to not necessarily you know it it's hard for me to know if this particular plant um, travels well because I, I, I haven't researched it enough. Um, I was definitely not expecting um, the amount of damage that this plant had. And I'm going to do everything in my power to rescue it and see if I can, you know, maybe if it survives to do a future update um, video on it but yeah out of the four I'm definitely this one is definitely not um, something that I would that I will purchase again from their site um, just because you know I it might not travel well this might be something that you know I need to purchase in person um, again I'm not sure um, when it comes to the plants from Josh Josh's frogs I will repot them like as soon as I'm done with this video when it comes to the ones from find us in the forest um, I'm just gonna let them acclimate and I'll probably leave them in these pots for a good while but I don't see any roots coming from the bottom oh no this one this one does have a root from the bottom so this Condapsus pictus exotica must be um, you know root bound so as soon as I you know I don't know if you're able to see it it's just very very small right there and again I'll do a little close-up but 
I'm happy that obviously it's growing happy enough in this particular soil and its pot. So I'm just gonna put you know decorative one and just leave it there. I'll probably let it let them both acclimate for a couple weeks, maybe longer, and then see what happens. Um, but it seems like the the soil might be. Might be peat, peat moss, um, and I do see some perlite. I do see some perlite on this one, but anyway. So, thank you so much for watching. This is um, all the plants that I ended up getting today. Um, so seven in total. I am, you know, very happy with most of the plants. I'm really happy with the way they were packaged um, with the exception of the string of turtles and um, you know I, this to me is like a learning experience as to what to order from where and from who and you know thank you so much for watching let me know in the comments below if you have purchased from this particular vendors what your experience has been and if there's any other vendor from a small small business that you recommend. Thank you so much for watching and until next time.